Good morning, everyone. This is the Adventure Called Life. I'm Joe. Let's go for a ride today. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it would be great. I'm trying to grow this channel. You know, I'm new to YouTube and everything. So, as always, I'll take any suggestions you guys might have, anything you want to see. Feel, feel free to like and share this video. That would also be great. So, it's... Uh, slightly it's got some it's a, a blue skies today kind of a few clouds you know it's nothing much kind of cool kind of little cool so not bad still warming up still getting spring it's about 11 o'clock here in knoxville tennessee As we roll past this school see all the little kids out there playing having a good afternoon it's uh south knoxville Quite a nice little school. All my children went there for years until they got older. So how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. I'll get you a cup of coffee. I don't know if there's a better way to start the day. Get you a you can do like me, you get you a duck of hip. What's the map, sir? You know, when you see these ramps, is anybody else ever tempted to just drive up in the back of one of them? No, maybe not that one, that little ramp. But, you know what I'm talking about, like them car haulers. They don't see anything that just could always just do to hazard it one day. Doctors be like, you got two weeks to live. You better watch out. You're a, you're a car hauler driver. All <laughs> right. So we're gonna head down toward head down toward Island Home Park this morning. Do our usual routine. I know they're not drilling for the water over there, but it certainly looked like it. Look at that big old tree that fell over. That's a big old tree. Well, they may have cut it down or whatever. So they're building more apartments over here on the ground. And they look kind of crazy. Kind of crazy looking. I mean, kind of neat, but you don't see that behind every day. That's true. We'll pull over here in just a second let these cars go by me. Just one. So it'll be all right. We were kind of going a little fast anyway for the conditions this morning. By that, I mean my freezing. You know, you can bear that in mind. If you're ever, you know, riding your bike and you're like, man, it's, it's freezing out here. Slow down a little bit. Take a little bit easy. Slow down a little bit, it gets a whole lot warmer. The difference in a couple of miles an hour can be you being cold or not, honestly. When you ride things like these uh, e-bikes and stuff, you're kind of making a trade-off, you know, in your clothing. You're like, I can wear a coat over top of this. See, I mean, what I usually wear, if it's like 50 degrees, I'll get a t-shirt and then I'll wear like a windproof sweater like this one. This is a, it don't look like it, but it's a really, really good block of wind. And so I'll wear it. And if it's below 50, I'll throw a, you know, a windproof coat over top of it. And that'll work. That'll work down to about 30 degrees. When it gets about, when it gets about 30 degrees though, it's really just time to hang it up unless you're commuting to work or something. Like recreational bicycling, you know. You can go pretty hardcore, but you're not going, you're not going to go much below that. Even if you, uh, unless you have like a, maybe a, a motorcycle with heated grips and even then, you know, you're pushing it. I know some people who had, like my ex-father-in-law, he actually used to ride a motorcycle all winter long. And uh, more power to use, what I always said. 
be us that cold, but I'm just, I prefer something with a windshield. I don't know about you folks. I seem a lot of using the same boat as me on that one. That sounds like a nightmare. I really do kind of like this architecture of this down here. Let's take a right and go up through here. This is new. It's a new little apartment building. I mean, it's been here like maybe a year or so, two. But I mean, they're really nice, really nice little apartments. You know, uh, I've never actually been back in here. We'll go back through here and look. That's a good thing about doing, having an e-bike and, you know, kind of being retired is you're not really on the schedule no more. And it's weird. It's weird to get used to living without a schedule. Yeah, these are nice little apartments. I like these. I like the way these are, these are done. I mean, I'm sure they're pricey. Everything down here is pricey anything well anywhere actually if you if you're going to be if your view is going to be like a river like over here in the tennessee river you're going to pay for that view you know that's the way and i, I assume that's pretty much everything. now as always remember to gear down before you come to the stop signs and red lights and stuff and as you get going you can gear back up think of it like a straight shift in a car and do it the same way won't be long folks and we'll be following this dogwood arch trail this dogwood trail see these pink lines on the road this is part of knoxville's dogwood trail now houses all along this trail have dogwoods in their front yard and one of our attractions to our city is every spring all these dogwoods bloom and you can come down here and you can follow this trail and look at all the houses with the dogs are in there. I mean, and it goes a good place and you follow it here for a second. I mean, it goes, it goes a good ways. There's, there's quite a few um, houses. See, and then you come up here and you go down this other island home boulevard. Still following this dogwood trail so if you're see, see the trees actually have buds on them now see there's a lot of dogwoods a lot of these trees are dogwoods and them are dogwoods and we'll definitely come down here later when the dogwoods start to bloom and we'll take a nice ride on the dogwood trail but we'll take a nice ride on the dogwood trail today we just don't have the dogwoods to see yet but if you're uh from Tennessee or moving to Knoxville this is something you wouldn't you wouldn't really know but now you do you can find the start of the dogwood trail next to Allen Home Park if you pull up your Google come down to come down Sevier Avenue to Allen Home Park you can find the start of the dogwood trail well, let's go back this way and we'll go back quicker. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there's birds singing, squirrels running. It's Tennessee's coming back to life after this bitter winter we had. And uh, it seems like we got all of our cold in like 10 or 15 days, but oh man, it was. It was brutal. All right, folks, well, here we are at Allen Home Park. And that means that's the end of part one. Join us tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Keep pedaling.